Well, hello everyone. It is your favorite hairstylist, Katie B Hair, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to detail a front hairline and how to do some teasy weaves. So first we're starting out every time I do a hairline, no matter if it's soft or bold, this first foil right here will be a baby light. And a baby light is a very thin, thin slice. And I'm feathering it up and making sure I get it all the way to the scalp. Do not squish and squeeze your foil and fold it into a cute little packet. I'm going to keep working up her hairline with these baby lights. And I'm going to do a mix of baby lights and teasy lights. So it's going to give me a really cool lived in gradient sort of blend for her front hairline. Now what you'll also see is the brush that I'm working with. It's very important to know what brush you are using. So this brush is from From. It is a soft feather brush. It's one of those that I love to paint with as well. It's going to really make sure you don't get any harsh lines in your foil work. So after that back-to-back -back teasy light, baby lights, I'm now going to do teasy lights. And I'm doing these teasy lights very close to her scalp. So when you are applying a teasy light, you want to be aware of how much you're doing your tease. So if you tease, start your tease all the way at the end of the hair and push it up, you're going to create more of a rude, rooted look. So when I'm wanting to keep them closer to the scalp, I'm going to make sure that I am only teasing about an inch or two inches away from where the roots are. And I'm really making sure I am taking my time and feathering. And when you see me turn the brush vertical like that, that is what helps with blending and really taking your time. These front hairlines are what your clients see first. So make sure you detail them out. So the last thing you want is for them to be calling you and complaining right here this connection foil piece not every client has that perfect hairline some have a little bit of a hole in them so make sure you're connecting that top hairline down to the bottom now this all of the foils back when i'm finishing are all going to be teasies and i'm taking the foil in about a diagonal it's going to allow me to cover more surface of the head therefore highlighting more therefore working way less that clip right there that clip is one of my pro tips that's going to keep all that hair up and out of the way so i can feather and really work that section and you can see my cute little ruby on my client's lap there we go tease again and these teasies are back to back so there's no hair in between i'm really wanting to create a diffused look from start to finish so i make them really packed in and tight and then i start to teasy as i work my way up and that's going to create just that very soft gradient blend now this is the best part so see how low i am on the hair and i'm weaving and then opening and then i'm going to back comb that so that is my blend insurance right there it's going to create a very 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 diffused tip out and a tip out is when you are lightening the tips and yes there is already blonde there but my lightener i have a rebonder and i pretty much have the softest lowest developer you could use for this lightener really ensuring that i'm keeping the integrity of the hair i'm weaving separating back combing and then i'm going to go through and i'm going to apply the foil underneath and you can see those little dark pieces right there. So that's going to help give that ombre effect. And you're seeing that I'm not bringing up any highlights to her roots. She's wanting that beach lived in blonde that's super low maintenance. She's that busy mom. So this is when I'm really keeping the highlights off the back of her head. I'm keeping them more diffused. Now, when we take out these teasies, see I'm taking my brush underneath and then I'm working through pressing that lightener so it's all staying in that foil and then i'm going to take my brush and underneath and i ask my client too does this hurt here's the end result 